have a really big emphasis on social emotional development. And in the three year old year, we have strategies in place. We call it PBIS. It stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. And we have school wide expectations. And we use the phrases be ready, be respectful, and be safe. So when children start in our program, we spend a large amount of time making sure that we're teaching the appropriate expectations right from the beginning. During the four-year-old year, we often um, add on to what they've previously learned through a, another social-emotional program called PATHS, which stands for Promoting Alternative Thinking Strategies. And that program focuses much more on understanding your feelings, learning how to communicate your feelings, problem solving, and working together with friends. We started doing PBIS um, as a building about seven years ago, and I think what that brought to our building was common language that everyone could use so that everyone understood what it meant to do certain things. And even if you were in one room, you could use the same language with the kids in a different room. Um, it also, I think, helped our teachers just get some basic universal strategies in place for behavior. So the PBIS was in place, um, as well as some of our literacy you know, initiatives. And then when we started talking about using more of that formal problem-solving thought process, um, it, those initiatives lended themselves to be, you know, we already were, were doing things more at a tiered level. We were looking at things at a tiered level. So the vocabulary started matching with what we were actually doing. So I always tell the staff, well, we were already doing tier, a tiered approach when you looked at PBIS. You know, we were using universal strategies. We were already doing small groups with PBIS when we did social stories with specific kids. So the problem solving kind of gave us the vocabulary of things we were already having the staff do. They just didn't realize they were doing it. It also helped bring, I think, again, more consistency with staff members, um, the therapists that work with various team, you know, teachers and teams can go from one team to the next and know what they're all talking about and, you know, know what some of the tools are that everyone's using. So that, that universal um, approach has just lended itself to consistency. I mean, that's like the big, that's the biggest advantage.